All right, Michael. We've got an organized box of goodies. What are we doing? All right, so after last time we worked in this thing, we came back here, we had a look through the whole car, we figured out what we have, what we don't have, what do we need, what we need to order, and basically we've sorted out a few things that we know that we can get done in this thing. So what that means is we have a bunch of parts, and that means we have some work to do. So what we wanna focus on today is the exhaust. That's one of our favorite things to do, build exhaust. This one is not an entirely custom exhaust. We have ordered a kit, but it is like a weld together kit, so it's like build your own adventure. Um, we need to modify it a little bit, so there's a little bit of work in that. But before we do the exhaust, what we wanna do is we wanna get the tail shaft in, and no yoking, it's been fixed, and hopefully it goes in. <laughs> and we also have what we think is everything we need for the handbrake cable as well too. So we're gonna try and get this in first, because once the exhaust is in the way, doing this might be a bit tricky. There's a few guys in the comments that said, make sure you do this before you do everything else. So you know more than we do when it comes to GT, so we'll go with what you say. So first of all, we're going to start with trying to get this handbrake cable in. So what Rodney's done here is he's gone out and he's got a recondition, like, I don't know what you even call this. Normally you call it a lever, but in Ford land, I guess this is a puller. We're going to try and fit this in. That needs to go onto the dash. We actually looks like we have some bolts. That's <laughs> rare for us. We'll try that and then we can go underneath the car and work our way through. I'm not exactly sure we have everything we need for this, but it's a start. Sounds good. I don't know whether there's any, like, I know like HQs use like little cams and stuff underneath there. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know whether this does as well, but we're gonna find out, we'll aren't we? We'll figure it out. Main facts today, let's get that exhaust done. Let's do it. So there's an existing cable in there at the moment, is there? Yeah, there's an existing cable in there at the moment. So I might just go pull that out to begin with. It's like little bolts in here, Nathan. And they're here. Bolts that are here. <laughs> no one's taken them, no one's stolen them. Oh, this could be a dream. Life could be a dream. Shaboom, shaboom. Do you think today we're going to get through installing everything we hope to install today without missing bolts? Except for exhaust, because that's going to be we have to put. I think we in. will. All right, fingers. Because crossed. everything else is half finished, so like the brake, we just <laughs> got to put the pads in. <laughs> yes. Yes. Now nah, we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. We're staying hopeful today. Bye bye. So it actually looks like it comes with a new bracket and bolt. Oh, how nice is this? Oh my God. Yeah. Oh. Boom! How you like them apples? Oh, rich rolling. <laughs> anyway, we're done again. Go up with it. Finish running the handbrake cable, throw in the drive shaft, build an exhaust. Done. And not hear it. <laughs> Hello, Loki. How are you, mate? You finally come outside. You're a dog today, huh? So, if that goes through there. Hey! <laughs> oh, and yes. And the arc clip goes over it. Yes, we're getting somewhere, people. It's like, hey, give me an. Oh, lovely! So, that looks good. That's running down there. So, that means we have half our handbrake cable. Now, this has to connect to the second bit of handbrake cable, which splits into two and goes towards each drum brake. Yes. So,. I like. I think let's run it to the diff and forward. Yeah. And then we meet in the middle and we work out what has to happen in the middle. Yeah. You've made a boat. I don't know how it works. It just loops forward to that, and then when you pull that, it must. Do you know what I mean? This is one continuous loop. Oh, uh, do you know what? Together. I reckon we're missing. I think we're missing like a, a pulley system. A you know, like how the HQs you. have that thing. Yeah. Right, Nate. I think that's what I reckon. That's what we're missing. But where does that bracket up to? So what we need is two more A clips to hold that and then this must loop forward. But the thing is, it can't, surely it doesn't just go like that. Like surely this feeds across to like a pulley system. I'll get the book out and we'll see what we can find, eh? Yeah. All right, so we've had a look through our vintage workshop manual here. You know it's vintage because the page is falling out of it. And a yellow. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it looks like there's this handbrake equalizer this is what the what the actual pull system from the dash goes down to. Goes to this, which is like a big lever arm, which then transfers that to like a U thingy that the that big loop cable goes to. We're missing that. Um, luckily, it looks like there's a kit online you can get for it. This is like the handbrake lever arm. That's where the handbrake mounts to from the dash. And this is like where it all sort of works its way through and works its way to the back there. So we don't have that at the minute. Look, I'm not even mad because honestly, <laughs> it's not a big deal. We can probably put that in after the exhaust is all in anyway. It just would have been nice to get it done today. But yeah, it looks like that kit is what we're missing. 
So I've passed it on to Rodney. Rodney, buy that please. <laughs> and now we'll keep going. Tail shaft. Tail shaft exhaust. Exhaust. Yeah. yeah. Luckily we have our TL performance lollies to keep us hydrated. Hydrated or fueled. <laughs> even though it's 10 30 in the morning at the moment. But radio. So we have our dry shaft, which we've had a new uni put onto it. They actually had to cut the old yoke off and put on the new uni and weld that back up. Um, but it's been done now, so now haven't tried it yet. We're about to try it on camera, so it's either gonna be happy or really sad. We'll find <laughs> out. We're gonna see if it works. Fingers crossed, eh? <laughs> yeah, you grind those spines down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just making it easier to slip on a little <laughs> Come on. Come. <laughs> Don't. Oh yeah, that's all right. Just have to push the caps in a little bit. Bloody hell. I was worried for a second then though. All right, and we also got new U-clamps. I will admit I did test these before. They did fit. So let's get these on. It's just like a cooking show. They make it beforehand so then they don't stuff it up in front of you. Yeah, except we never do that, which is probably yeah. what we should start doing so we didn't look like such idiots all the time. <laughs> it's funny when you look at this. Like this engine is going to put out a fair amount of power, this thing. Push, push. By the sounds of it, you know. And look at the size of the little tiny bolts that do it up. Yeah, I know. It's crazy, isn't it? It's weird engineering. They're just like, let's over-engineer a handbrake cable, but these little 8mm bolts will hold this. Yeah, let's make this <laughs> huge 9-inch diff. But these little 8mm bolts, <laughs> they're going to hang on for dear life. These little 8mm bolts are going to be like, <laughs> So, for the first time ever, I was going to say in a long time, but the first time ever, all the drive line is talking to each other. Talking to each other. Yeah. Hey, man, see how little it's got totally connected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the gearbox has now reached out to the gone, Hello. We're pretty much Facebook right now. Yeah. This is basically the people you may know. <laughs> so that means we are on to exhaust. Yes. As we said earlier, we were going to make our own custom exhaust for this thing, but time is money. <laughs> um, we ended up deciding not to because Rodney found a basically somewhat of a bolt together exhaust or weld together exhaust online. Um, what they do is they supply two Magnaflow mufflers. These are the same sort of mufflers that we used on the HQ with great success. They've already cut down one side because you'll see later why how it's pretty close and tight in there. They provide that. We need to weld to that cut down section. These mid pipes, these go from mufflers to extractors at the front there. And we have to put a H pipe in as well too. And our tail pipes, our over axle pipes and chrome tips are over there as well too. All that should bolt up to the standard uh, hangers, we're told. So we're gonna try to do that now. Um, so I'll start fitting this up while Nate does all that. And then the biggest thing is, like Nate said, we need to weld some flanges on to those extractors because this would have been like a slip joint, I think stock. And obviously we're not using stock headers, so we're using extractors. We're going to weld on flanges because we don't like slip joints even though we have to use one down here. <laughs> it's a two and a half inch fully full mild steel system, nothing too fancy. But for these sort of things they sound great. It'll be very similar to what we ran on the HQ. If it sounds anywhere near as good as the HQ, then I'll rate it. <laughs> Alright, we haven't got a lot of time, so Red Bull and let's get into it. <laughs> Alright, uh, these bolt up to here. Uh, so we have a guide as to where our muffler or exhaust pipe will need to sit. Yep. We could probably even mount the rear, figure out the rear first. Mount this section here so it all supports itself. Yeah. And then we make the midsection last. Yeah. And then do what we do with the tail shafts. People you may know, extractors to tail shaft, friend request. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. This is like an authentic concourse GT restoration. Right oh, don't say that. <laughs> okay, so, <clears throat> what we need to do. Our extractors are currently sitting there, and we've realized this is probably going to be the worst of worst of worst extractors to fit. Yes. <laughs> There's zero room. <laughs> but, I am pretty confident enough that I can weld the flange while they're bolted in the car. So what we are going to do is fully bolt these in. Uh, I am going to wire, I'm going to just clean up the clean the paint off them now, but I can weld those flanges in the car. I reckon there's enough room to weld it. So we're going to bolt these on. Michael's going to hang the mufflers yep. and probably look at hanging the rear tail pipes. And then once the mufflers are hung, we can build forward. You see what I mean? I reckon it just 
it's going to be cut off a lot there. Unless the exhaust has to come across more. These tips are extremely exposed in a GT and <laughs> like the placement of these is really important. We need to bolt these mounts in. There's no holes, obviously. Um, so we're going to try and figure out where we're going to put them. I've looked at as many reference photos as I can figure out. They sort of go somewhere in line with this sort of shackle thing here. But what we've looked at just now is where you see the over at the moment, this coming out here, is basically the angle that we're going to have. And we're trying to look at reference photos and you can see the sort of angle that they do have. They are pointed quite down, uh, quite a fair way down and you do see a lot of the tip coming out. And also, we have to account for these suckers, which go on right up to about there. And then we need to figure out our length that we're gonna have basically how far out it comes. So yeah. we're gonna make the mounts up there. This means that we should, at the very minimum, we put it right up there. So it gives us plenty of- Chrome. Cr plenty of chrome, <laughs> yeah. And we can figure it out, but I'm still looking at reference photos. We'll get these mounts mounted. And once we made that up, then we can go ahead and Nathan can do his wildy thing up there. Alright, so what we just figured out is we've been trying to get these tips to look level for ages and then we were like, oh, we've got them close enough so we'll move to bolting up the headers and as soon as we remove these sections and let it hang, <laughs> they actually sit perfect. So we're going to do the headers now, get them bolted in and then just work our way back and yeah. make this middle section. Yeah. So we're doing the usual picking a side and going for it. Yeah. Oh, it's a shame I've already started on this side. It eh? looks like you already started this side, yeah. yeah. Could have done the old Sim Sam Sam, you know. Paper, scissors, rock to the side, but I've already started. Yeah, definitely you've blocked yourself. That's a shame. <laughs> Damn it. This side sucks. <laughs> I can help you. <laughs> it's not like each man for themselves. Isn't it though? It is. Two men. <laughs> Two headers. <laughs> I'm looking down! <laughs> See, I'm done! Oh. How are we looking? I'm on to my last one, I just need to get to it. It's the one right up front, you think that'd be the easiest, but yeah. definitely not. Heaps of room under here. <laughs> done! <laughs> Ow! Alright! Ooh, let's um, take a bit off. I was just making my finger a little skinnier to get into the hole. <laughs> uh, you watch we get this up and one extractor is like, and one's like, Ey. Yep. Damn. Y'all can't see this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. What about you? Yeah, I'm wrapped with that. All right, try that. You might have to take the flanger. Oh, why are you doing this to me? Hey. Oh. Oh, I'm excited. Big cat's excited. <laughs> Dude, that's freaking Dude, good. it's mint. The back is perfect. Holy shit. It just came together. <laughs> Let's get the It. We're sending it now. What? Nathan's gone around his tack well, it looks really good so far. Pretty sturdy right now. But we're going to put our H pipe in now. Now, the H pipe. Some people run them, some people don't. Depends on what sort of note you want. If you don't run a H-pipe, you end up with four cylinders coming out either exhaust and they don't cross over. Some people really like that sound, some people don't. 
Uh, I think for performance wise, you generally want to have an equalizer pipe because I think it helps with scavenging and stuff like that. So we're going to run one anyway because I've always run one in all our V8s and I think it makes, for us, it's what we like. We're going to put it just about here. So what we need to do is just basically we've got a bit of two inch here, rather two and a half. I'm going to go across to there and there. The easy thing is all we do is just drill in a hole saw on either side here. But the trouble is trying to get this to the right radius of that. There is a TikTok hack that oh I found my God. that I want to try. Okay. Now, there is a tool for oh. this. <laughs> uh, we need a profiler. That's what you're doing. Yes. Yeah. There is a tool for this, but we don't have said tool. And I saw this on TikTok and I thought, you know what? I want to give that a go one day. And today's the day. So I think what you do is you get your... This is going to kill me. I've Mum's spaghetti. The, I've used all the spaghetti. I might need a hand here. <laughs> oh, no. He's got it. All the Italians out there. <laughs> what are you doing to that beautiful pasta? <laughs> I want to use this the other day for something that I wanted to do, but we had no pasta. <laughs> it was only cooked pasta, so, you know, that wouldn't work. Yeah, be a bit floppy. TikTok, let's see if you uh, service well, eh? And then you get this, put it on there. Hang on, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's somewhat worked. I mean, it's not perfect, but you get... It's enough for you to be able to go and cut it now, I guess. I feel like this has failed. Why? It's worked perfect. What are you talking about? Hang on, wait, if I do this, it'll work even better. Okay. This is just like all the expensive profiles you get in the shops, mate. Yeah, why waste money on a fancy profile when you could just do this? Do a couple of rounds. It's gotta be strong. What you need to do is make sure they're all the same length and then you could have just like transfer it across. This will be the tricky bit. This will be whether it's a success or failure. Oh, wow. That's why I said that it's gonna be tight. Just ignore that one, that's a outlier. <laughs> there you go. It's kind of worked. <laughs> oh my God, so you're gonna notch that? You're notching it. You said you're really good at notching. Oh, so okay. This is your job. Yeah, okay. Hey, if it works. Hey, hey, you're, you're the um, profiler. I'm the cutter. Yeah. I'll take my cutter back. Yeah, if you're asking, no, we don't have a uh, notcher. <laughs> no. <laughs> notcher. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll cut it. Cut away. <laughs> But did it work? Did the spaghetti oh, work? Come on, look at this! Who needs a tube notching me? Hey, it's all in the cutter, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, but now you're gonna get it exactly right on the other side. Well, that's your it. job. See, I'm just a notcher. No, <laughs> it's, the, it's all gone. We've lost it. It worked pretty good. I've just got to get rid of a bit more wing. Oh, please fit. I reckon she's gonna be she's gonna be close. Look, she's not bad. Mate, I eyeballed that notch. You've done well. She's yeah. Not bad. There we go. That's it, almost there. That's it. Nice. Woo! Jeez, that did it easy. Yeah. Oh! Lovely. There's a piece in there? Yeah. Lovely. Piece of cake, mate. Oh, look at that. It's not going to put any pressure on the exhaust. Because it falls in. All right, well, that's as much as we have time for today. We were hoping to get the whole thing done, but we got carried away with everything else this morning. So. Yeah, we got a bit carried away with everything else that finally had... Well, the handbrake didn't have everything, but we got a bit carried away with uh, other, other useless stuff. Uh, I mean, it's not useless, it all has to get done. But we're at the point with the exhaust where we're going to end it today. 
Uh, it's already five o'clock. It's all done up to the, it's actually, it's done, but we're not quite happy with the tailpipe exit. Um, one of them is a little bit more slanted down, so we think we've got to get a little bit more twist and a little bit more pull on it. Or we might actually chop it and notch it a bit um, because the tailpipes need to be bang on. Yeah, otherwise it's going to look real funny. <laughs> otherwise it's going to look real funky. So yeah. I think we're going to focus on getting that right next. And then we're going to pull it all off. and Pull it all off, grind the welds, clean them up a bit, paint it, put it back on, and then the exhaust is done. Anyway, until we're finishing off this exhaust, see you then. All right, well, we are back, and today we're gonna to try and finish off this exhaust. So the front half is all finished, and it's looking pretty good. We obviously need to paint and do all that there, and fix up a few welds where the gas is turned off. <laughs> um, but that's okay, we'll do that in a moment. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna sort out these tailpipes. The reason why we couldn't finish these the other day is because this tailpipe, you can see, as you the see is sitting about an inch lower than that tailpipe. And that annoys us. <laughs> That's not something that we can leave. These are obviously pre-bent and then delivered, so you know, you sort of get what you get. We've tried twisting it and rotating it in every way that we can imagine. Those two mufflers are lined up in the same position. It is, there's just, it's just, you know, I'm not gonna say an error, it's just differences in bends and stuff like that. Yeah. So it's just sitting too low. So the easiest way that we reckon we can fix this and quickest way to fix this is all this part seems pretty good. It's just literally this is sitting too low. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a little bit of a dodgy, is we're gonna cut it, we're gonna do one, two, three slits here to be able to like make like almost a lobster back, open it up a little bit to raise it here, and you just fill that with weld, <laughs> and then grind it back flat, and no one will ever see it, and it'll be done. That's the easiest way that we can think to fix this, rather than trying to like replace that with a bend, because the trouble is, that's not like a 45 bend, it's not like a 30 degree bend, that is a mandrel bend. Uh, bend. I didn't know the mandrel actually. I don't even reckon it needs much. No. It doesn't need much in it. It's, I think it's 10 mil. Yeah, it, 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 and you do that over three cuts, so like each cut's only like three mil, and yeah. then you just fill that with weld, and that's our plan. Anyway, we'll see if that actually <laughs> happens. Not really getting the cut right through. Do we need to pull it off? I think we might need to pull it off. Yep, pull it off. Yeah. <sighs> well, I think the good thing um, is- What I'm gonna do is mark where the top is to not yeah. cut through, because that's gonna be our bend point. Yeah, good idea. Otherwise, if we cut to the side. <laughs> if we cut to the side, it's gonna be a lot of bend. <laughs> Hopefully this works. Hopefully, if it doesn't, buy another one, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> We're dumping in the deer. <laughs> not be showing this. So, that's what we ended up with, three cuts. <laughs> Looks like lobster back. Now we throw it back up. I'm not proud of this. Um, this isn't a proud moment for me. <laughs> <laughs> It'll work. This is why I don't do tailpipes. Yeah. <laughs> None of this shit. <laughs> Done, good part, shit part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But um, it's gonna get the angle we want. We've got to tighten it up. Yeah. And hang them. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky you're good in the world of filling holes. <laughs> is that right, good tape? Yeah, I'm getting right. This is gonna be mint. Nah, let's just there. Let's just leave it there. Alright, well, we've got it evenly spaced up into three. Everything is good, we're not touching. Let's go. Why am I welding this? Because Nathan doesn't want to put his name to this work. And I'm you like, know what I'll do? I'll do the exhaust tops. I'm like, yep. Filling holes that I make when I'm uh, welding, that's what I do. Good luck, everybody! You don't want to see this? All right, well, she's all ground up. You're not going to get too close to it. But um, yeah, it looks really good. I think it turned out really good. Now, nah, look, it, it'll be fine because once you paint this black, you'll never see it. Obviously, you, st you do see a little bit of a scallop. Like, you can see where the straight edges are and stuff. But that's unavoidable. But yeah. because this is hidden, it's going to be black and it's going to be hidden behind a wheel. You're never going to see it. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is cut this off. I've already done that side. The tip looks mint. And the tip is on. 
So I'm going to cut this one down, we'll slip this one in, see if it looks right, tack the tips on, uh, and then rip the whole exhaust out. Yeah. You want to stop hitting things with my exhaust? everything. <laughs> you just knocked it out of alignment. I just got it straight. That's the truth. That looks mint, man. You'll never even know. <laughs> look at that. Perfect. Is it right? Yeah, look. Oh, you don't even have to adjust the That's tip. bang on. The height is... The heights look exactly the same. Oh, that's sick, man. That looks sick. Happy with that? Yeah, let's tack them on. Yeah. And look, my, our dodgy welds, never gonna undersee them. Looks good as gold. Shame we have to paint it now. Black looks sick. I love the black. Why do we focus so much on things that you don't even see? I know, right? What do you think, Michael? I love it. I love the gloss black. I reckon it's actually turned out really well. I'll get a light so the folks can see at home because it's very stealthy now. Just like our light, it's just gone missing all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I think it's turned out really well. All in all, it went together really well. Way easier than what we thought it was going to be, to be honest. And yeah, saved a lot of time than trying to make our own custom one to buy buying a weld to get the kit, basically. The only thing we had to fix was that tailpipe, yeah. like we said. But, you know, it's never going to be perfect when it comes to mandrel bending them off the car and everything. So, yeah, I'm stoked. I, I really, really like this exhaust. I think it's going to sound pretty good, too. I think so. Yeah. It's like a stealth system, this one. Mm. But like the gloss mufflers. Yeah, it looks good. Or the, the painted mufflers, hides it. Yeah. That's it for this episode. If you do want to uh, go back and watch other exhausts that we've made, or this one we put together, but we've made a bunch of exhausts, uh, make sure you head over to the channel, uh, subscribe, like, and click the bell notification. Uh, that'll let you know when we've dropped a new episode every Thursday. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, go over and... Damn. Go <laughs> over and buy the... Shirt that the Michael's wearing. <laughs> yeah, it's on the website. Link head in the description. Over to, link in the description below. Head over to the website where you can go and buy some merchandise to help us out to continue up doing what we're doing. That's it. We're slowly chipping away at this car, um, and it feels good. We're 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 back in love with it again. Um, keep chipping away at these tiny little bits and pieces, and we'll get that done. But we've got another big project coming in. Soon. Yeah, we do. One of the biggest <laughs> projects we've done again. Yeah. Yes, it's going to be another very big project. And fast. And fast. It's going to be another fast one. Hopefully you will see that soon. So if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe because you will see that soon. Anyway. We'll see you in the next episode. Which we're filming right now. Which we're filming right now. Okay, so for the fuel system, what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. All right. See you then. We used to get excited about turbos and stuff. But we get excited about... A handbrake cable. No, we get excited about the fact that we have something that we can bolt onto the car. <laughs> At this point in time, it could be wiper blades and I'd be happy if they fit. Is what squishes through the floor, the whole floor. Floor hole. Floor hole, whole floor. <laughs> floor hole, hole. <laughs> this diff is very tight. Hey, We should do a Michael count, uh, drop counter, purely because we know that I'm going to drop them, but when Michael drops them, we need to count them. <laughs> Sometimes you just got to send her, eh? <laughs> That's a tap. Stuck. <laughs> it's stuck all right.
Oh, so this is now our new stud. <laughs> <laughs> like Johnny Cash once said, if you're after a concourse restoration of a GT right here, it ain't me, baby. <laughs> We're working imperial, mate. You should be working in inches. Sorry. Five and a quarter of a half of an inch and a one thirtieth of an inch. Five thirty seconds. Five thirty seconds of an inch. And three, two, one. Drop that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and chuck, chuck, chuck. <laughs> you know, Ford, when you wanted to put a 351 into this car, you could have maybe have done some other work around it to make it a lot easier. I know, yeah. Like, like get, get rid of the struts down. <laughs> Honestly, just a, a matter of flipping the spanner every way and then trying the ring end, trying the open end. It is. <laughs> we love building exhausts until we start building exhausts. <laughs> yeah. And then we realize we hate building exhausts. But they're so satisfying when you get it done. Like, remember Daniel's? Yeah. That was a hard exhaust to build. But when we finished it, it was like, damn, yeah. Daniel. Back at it again with that three and a half inch exhaust. <laughs> and here we find Nathan in his natural habitat again <laughs> with the welder. <laughs> with no formal training, but it appears to become a natural instinct to him. <laughs> he knows when he blows a hole, turn it down. When it's too cold, turn it up. <laughs> and that's pretty much all he needs to know. Oh, you dick. <laughs> <laughs> uh.